What's up, YouTube? It's me, Courtney, ECPI RN graduate, here to give you all an update. So it's been it's been a few weeks since my last video. I just watched it. I think it was like March 11th or something like that. Uh, so it's been a while. At that time, we hadn't gotten our ATTs yet. Um, we ended up getting them. So like my classmates are like, I love my classmates. They're all just like, Ugh! email the dean of nursing about it to see what the heck was going on, whether the holdup was on her side or not. The Virginia uh, Board of Nursing, you have this checklist that has everything has to be signed off before you can, well, really all but one of these things have to be signed off before you get your ATT. And then that one thing is taking the NCLEX. And once that's signed off, you get, um, you know, your RN license because you've taken the NCLEX and you passed it. And now you no longer need this checklist thing. So anyway, uh, the dean emailed our paperwork up. We graduated the 26th of February. That was our pinning. The 27th was the actual last day of class, even though we didn't have class. That was that Sunday. And then that Monday, the 28th, was when the paperwork should have gone up. I don't know what happened with that. Nobody knows. Whatever. It's over now. We ended up getting our authorization to test on March 23rd. Um, the first email you get says like from the board you're authorized to test here's a letter that you can take to your employer saying that you're authorized to test you're authorized to work as an rn applicant and you have this window it was like from march 24th i think it was like the day after we got it march 24th until like september 24th so you have 90 days but like to take the test after that, I'm not really sure what's going to happen because to be perfectly honest with you, as soon as I got that email, I was like, okay, cool. Well, the thing is, um, Pearson View, they are the ones that actually uh, give the test or host the NCLEX or whatever you want to call it. That paperwork also gets sent to them. And then there's another solid 24 hours ish before they say, okay, yes, you can actually sign up to test. So the next day, as soon as I got that email, I was like in between patients and everything. I went onto the website and I uh, sent that there's a link in there and I clicked it, went onto the website and the website gave me like, okay, here are all the testing locations near you. And I picked the one in Newport News, which is actually like a quarter mile away from the actual campus, which was pretty insane, but whatever. I picked that campus and the next available they had was like that Friday. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. After that, the next available that they had was April 6th, which was yesterday because today is the 7th. I went in yesterday, 8 o'clock in the morning. I was freaking out. So I don't want to get anybody. I'm not going to go dive too much into like the days leading up to like the NCLEX because it was high anxiety for me. And I'm typically not like that. And I, I was, I was completely freaking out and that's, I'll just leave that there. I mean, you know, it's just a, it's a big deal taking this test. So I don't want to get anybody all worked up. You're going to freak out. It's going to be okay. Anyway, I took the test and Pearson actually has the ability for you to see your unofficial test results. So apparently you take the test through Pearson they have their automatic, you know, you passed or you failed. And then the the um the test gets retested or not retested, regraded by I'm guessing like the board of nursing. And then once they pass you, then you get your license. So the but unofficially, you know, Pearson offers that option unofficially and then you can pay. I think they said it was like $8 to pay to see your unofficial results because it can take anywhere from Oh, God, I want to say eight. I've seen like eight business hours to like six weeks before the board will actually post like whether you're licensed, like whether it's official. So they give you the unofficial option, which they said would be like 48 hours. So with me, I was like, nope, not waiting that. I kept going to Pearson View website and I was like, refresh, refresh, refresh. And I had and there was nothing. It was like your results are not available yet. OK, fine. 
Then I went to like the Virginia Board of Nursing and the only thing that was coming up was my old CNA license, which expired in 2014. And then my current license as a physical therapist assistant. So I was like, crap. And then I went back to where you actually sign up to take the test, not through Pearson, but where you sign up because you graduated through the Virginia Board of Nursing. You have this checklist. So the checklist has everything up there that you need prior to getting your ATT. So like background checks, fingerprints, everything that has to be done. It's like 15 or 16 items there. And then you have your authorization to test up there as well. And then you have like your actual NCLEX, like the scores that's, or not the actual number score, but like once that's completed, then once the entire checklist is completed, then you can get your RN license. So I kept going back to that too. And nothing had changed. Everything was checked except the NCLEX scores. So I was like, okay, I really need to cool it because I went at eight o'clock in the morning and I was like, maybe they're having a good day. They might know like before the day is out, whatever. Didn't happen. So I was freaking out all yesterday or whatever. And this morning I went up there and I was on the way to my first patient's house of the day because I'm still working as a PTA. And the uh, unofficial test results weren't ready still through Pearson. And I went to the Virginia board checklist and it was like completely gone. So I was like, crap, what did I do? Like maybe I logged in wrong. Maybe I logged in as a PTA and not as a nurse. I don't know what happened. I went to the uh, Virginia Board of Nursing, like the license lookup. Guess what? Official RN. I am a registered nurse, guys. I'm super excited about this thing. Like I am just over the moon. I don't start my new job until the 18th, which is the Monday after next. So I'm like, next week is my last week. I was useless today at work, useless. I didn't do any documentation. I haven't done anything. All my patients were like, you seem like you're in such a great mood, what's going on? I was like, oh, nothing, you know, cause I'm not the type of person that shares so much personal information, but I was extremely excited. Like literally I pulled it up on my phone and like, this is not good, but I was driving when I tried to pull it up on my phone and I almost popped the freaking curb on a main road, which wasn't good. Somebody blew at me. Okay, I'm sorry. I just found out that I am a registered nurse right now. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I use the Saunders, um, I actually have the book right here. This is probably gonna be, there's this heavy thing on top of it. Okay, here we go. This book is what I use. So I didn't use the book, I use the app. The app has a cost. So the book, you know, depending on whether you want to buy the app or not, I think it was like $7 a month. It's like a monthly cost. It's not just like a one-time cost, I think. There were two different apps that I was using. Both of them were Saunders. I want to say they there was the main one that I used was like $7 a month or something like that. But this is the book that uh, accompanies it. So it was, um, there's a lot of good information in here good test taking strategy so this is really good if you're a book type of person now i am about to start reading into so i got this i'm like a book nerd i guess aacn essentials of critical care nursing so i'm gonna start diving into this and i put this on the back burner because i wanted to make sure that i um you know got through the nclex before i started opening up new material so that's my next step, next move. Um, I did go into ATI, uh, which was a, uh, what we used when we were in school. And I actually redid um, practice tests for the mental health and um, OB because those weren't really strong areas for me. But that was, that was it. it was, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. So again official um i had i did start working on like the bsn through ecpi i took one class i got two weeks into it and i was like nope not doing this i am done fried so i dropped and i'm gonna take a little break from school right now because i just i just need a break so i'm gonna take a break and i'll restart my bsn probably in the fall at the very latest um 
probably won't do next fall because or next not next fall next spring because i'm supposed to be deploying around that time but um if i don't deploy or whatever in the spring if i do then probably the summer or fall of next year then i'll start working on that because you know i'm just like oh my god so that's it that's all i have uh this isn't the end of us I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how the first day goes and everything with orientation, starting out as a new grad nurse, if you all want to know that. If not, we can end it here. I mean, you know, I'm just, whatever. It's, it's been fun. This has been fun for me. This has been really good. I really started this blog because I could not find anything at all about ECPI, like a real life experience. So like I go to, there's this website called allnurses.com a-l-l-n-u-r-s-e-s.com and i could always find like pretty much anything i wanted to know about like you'll have nurses up there you'll have mp crnas bsn uh nursing school students lpn rn everybody's up there people that are thinking about going into nursing and you it's like a like you'll find questions and then they'll be answered by actual nurses or nursing students. Even programs, like I've seen programs that are like, oh, has anybody applied to this program for this year? And people are like, yeah, I applied. And then, you know, you'll get some people that are like, yeah, I applied and I got my acceptance at this time. And there, you know, other people are like, yeah, I got my acceptance. And then some people might be like, yeah, I didn't get a call back. So, you know, you get like that real one-on-one -on -one experience. I couldn't find that with the ECPI and I certainly couldn't. I found the ECPI on that website, but there was nothing current. And I wanted like specifically the campus that I was going to go to and the program that I was going to be in. And so that was why I started this blog. Because I'm like, I can't be the only person that's like seeking guidance about this whole thing or what to expect. So that was why I started it. So it's been fun. I'll keep it up. And here we go. Courtney J. R. N. signing out.